Yo, 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 what it do? This your boy Reese Bo Squeeze, man. We back with another video. Yeah, we about to be reacting to how the NYPD track Chef G, man. Make sure you like the video, man. Let's get into it. We're going to pivot now to some breaking news. This morning, Chef G, the man widely considered to be the leader of Brooklyn's drill rap music scene, is in handcuffs along with more than 30 other alleged gang members. On April 5, 2021, the New Jersey mansion of NYC drill rapper Chef G was shot up. What would happen next would shock the city of New York. Chef G, real name Michael Williams, is a member of the 8 Trey Crips, and is not only a drill superstar, but according to the police, a criminal kingpin. The police allege that he organized multiple murders, kidnappings, and attempted murders across the city. Directing his gang members to do most of his bidding, Chef G gave them cash, jewelry, and even bought them an expensive steak dinner for carrying out the hits. Yeah. That boy treated them boys good, man. At Peter Luger? Nah. I don't even know what that is. I just heard about it. <laughs> carrying out the hits. The following story will chronicle one such incident. The ongoing gang war in New York City is incredibly complex. We have done numerous videos on various aspects of it, trying to break down situations as they unfold, but the most staggering part of it is the number of innocent victims who are caught up. This is because these victims are in a battleground they don't even know exists. Camera. The Cho Enterprise is one of the biggest gangs in New York City. The Cho members. Damn, Princess Chambers, Princess Quinn. Well, that's a playoff Harley Quinn, y'all. <laughs> Dang, so it's one Spanish guy and one girl. Damn. And it operates primarily out of the borough of Brooklyn. It is a massive alliance of many smaller gangs and crews, including the Folk Nation, one of the most violent crews in the city. For years, the Cho's and their rival alliance, the Woos, and their associates had battled it out in the streets, in courthouses, and in drill music videos. In fact, it was drill music videos which gave Chef G his fame and fortune. For example, prominent Cho associate 22 G's had a song called Suburban. Chef G responded with his own song, No Suburban, a battle cry for rivals of the Cho's and Folk Nation. The song got 13 million views, and that would just be the beginning for Chef G. Back to April 2021. Despite now having more than enough money to afford a mansion across state lines, Chef apparently did not want to give up his role as a prominent gang leader. He was furious that his rivals found him in New Jersey, and while nobody was physically injured, his pride was in serious pain. At Damn, so the ops found out what his man was living at and shot up the crib. Damn. Niggas mama could have been in there. Anything, bro. 12, 58 a.m. on April 6, just hours after the shooting, Chef G texted his 8 tray associate named LV Brim, saying that he wanted to retaliate against those who shot his house up on terror. Hold on. This man was texting this guy? He was texting him. That's crazy. Error timing. There was just one problem. He wasn't exactly sure who did it. A few hours later at 2, 32 a.m., Chef texted LV Brim again, saying, tomorrow we on that. He knew that he had easy access to a yap, which was not a gay reference, but rather a term used to refer to a firearm. No, not a yap. Them boys texting by yaps, man. I thought we only said yops down here in Florida, man, but you know a nigga up there ain't so shit. He then instructed LV Brim to scout a potential target for a revenge shooting and told him that he was going to get a rental car ready for the next evening. Throughout the night, until almost 6 a.m., Chef G continued to plot his revenge with his associates over text. They discussed logistics and found more gang members available to commit the murder. Many of these mess. Bro, you should have fucking just called. Like, why is you 
text and everything, bro. Y'all should have just met up somewhere and talked about this shit, man. Everything is tracked on phones, bro. If you're doing crime, don't use your phone. Messages were in Pig Latin, which Chef G was fluent in, as he showcased in many music videos. Chef and his crew agreed upon a possible target, a former member of the 8 Trey Crips nicknamed Champ, who Chef believed had given up his home address to the rival gangsters that shot it up. After this, Chef G went to sleep, and prepared for the day ahead. At around 2 p.m., Chef was up, and instead of just having his gang members enact revenge on his behalf, he decided to go along with them. Somewhere between 2, 30 and 4 o'clock, he drove a black Jeep Trackhawk, and picked up three of his eight Trey goons. No, not the Trackhawk. To pick up the goons. The NYPD alleges that these goons included Tony Darden, a.k.a. Mick, Kenrick Ostry, a.k.a. Torch, and Olivelle Martinez, a.k.a. LV Brim, the man Chef G had been texting with the night earlier. At around 4.05 p.m., while the men were driving through Brooklyn, Chef thought he had hit the jackpot. He saw Champ, the man who supposedly gave up his address, on Church Avenue, and decided that he needed to be killed immediately. Chef parked his jeep near the vicinity of Catton Avenue and East 18th Street and apparently told his goons to take him out by any means necessary. The goons got out of the car, and all fired down the block at Champ, but none of the bullets hit the intended target. Instead, a random 43-year-old woman walking with an elderly person was struck, as well as another 53-year-old man. They continue to fire, but Champ, whose real name is not being released publicly, ducks around the corner, escaping unharmed. The goons then all pile into- Damn, they done shot innocent bystanders, bruh. They jumped out broad daylight, didn't even hit the target. To the black trackhawk, and Chef G steps on the gas. The NYPD used video surveillance to track the vehicle. Also in Brooklyn tonight, cops looking for the person who shot two people as they just stood on the street. Cops say the shooter took off in a black Jeep. No word on the road then, so far, no arrest. Chef G crosses into the borough of Manhattan and parks the car at 481 Washington Street. The men then all scatter. Chef G calls an Uber to go back to New Jersey. Damn. All them cameras tracked everywhere this man went, bro. I hate to say it, but you can't really even do crime no more, man. I mean, if you ain't scamming, hey, other crimes, man, that shit, that shit a rap, bro. It's a rap. Now, I ain't promoting crime now. Y'all don't go do crime, but. You got to be careful, man, but it's hard, bro, because everybody got phones and his cameras on every corner, man. And text LV Brim to quote-unquote, wipe the car. Later on, that night, LV Brim talks with... He still texting this man talking about wipe the car, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Fellow gang member Crystal Williams. She tells him that Champ was not hit during the shooting. LV Brim then lies, saying that Champ quote unquote, pushed a in front of him, when in reality the woman that was shot was nowhere near him. Days later, after their meticulous tracking, the NYPD recovers the parked black trackhawk which was used in the shooting. Detectives examining the vehicle notice something familiar about it, but they just can't quite put their finger on it. That's right, the NYPD determined that the vehicle that Chef G literally rented on YouTube was exactly the one he used to facilitate the attempted murder of Champ. <sighs> Chef G, man. 
to be smart, I guess, to make it in rap, this is really dumb of you, bro. Like, seriously. It's really dumb of you to do that, man. Use the same car in an attempted murder that you have on YouTube. And you're a star knowing everybody see this shit, man. Oh, that's crazy. Following various search warrants and investigations of other cases, they took Chef G and 31 of his Confederates into custody on an indictment on May 16, 2023. These cases would include another incident, in which Champ was later kidnapped, tortured, and beaten within an inch of his life until he was saved by NYPD officers. Interestingly, at the time of the indictment, Chef G was already in prison for a gun offense and was due to be released in just a few months. The NYPD's precision policing <laughs> That boy playing GTA in jail. We got 2K down there too. <laughs> tactics are meant to focus on gun violence and the primary well, got like eight controllers in there, bitch. Perpetrators of it. An NYPD executive even admitted that they could make 200 to 300 member indictments regularly, but choose to instead focus on the quote unquote drivers of violent crime with. Whoa, what did they just say? 200 to 300 member indictments regularly, but. 200 to 300 people indictments regularly. They can do. Hey, man, if you're in the streets and gangs in New York, man, hang it up, bro. They just, they just waiting. They just waiting at this point. But choose to instead focus on the quote unquote drivers of violent crime with precise arrests. Now think about that. 32 subjects. We could have made this case to 300 people. Make no mistake about it. But it's focused. It's strategic. It addresses the right people. You know, you look at those 32 individuals, 24 of them are being charged with attempted murder or worse. It's unclear if this is effective, but what is clear is neither fortune nor fit that some people their old ways. Ultimately, only time will tell what the future holds for the NYC gang war or drill rap scene. Yeah, man, that's the end of this video, man. Um, Chef G, bruh. Them text messages are crazy. I don't know how you managed to put yourself in that situation. But, uh, that was very, uh, immature of you, bruh. But yeah, man, y'all comment down below, man. Let me know what y'all think. Like the video. If you're new, subscribe. Reese TV, man. We got this bitch, man.